Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to record your PS Vita screen using OBS without a capture card. You might want to do this because let's say you live stream or record yourself playing games on the PS Vita, but sometimes people want to see the entire screen, so that's why it could be very useful. Also, this video wouldn't be possible if Tech James didn't make a video about it, so I'll leave a link in the description below to his video. So yeah, before we start, please subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button, we very appreciate it, it means a lot to me. Also, check me out at Twitter and Instagram, which is just at optimize underscore 17. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, there are some requirements needed. Number one, you must need a video, of course. That's a monitor or hack running a custom firmware. There are many tutorials out there on YouTube using tools like HN Core or H on Core 2, and many more. It doesn't matter what it is, just make sure you have an application called Vita Shell. Number two, you need a USB cable to plug in the Vita to your PC. And if you want the Vita to record the audio, you might need an audio cable. Just make sure the end of the audio cable goes to the microphone jack on your PC. Number three, make sure you installed OBS on your computer and just in case, check for updates. And finally, number four, go to Windows Search and type Privacy and click on Enter. Then go to the App Permissions section and click on Camera. And make sure you toggle the Allow Apps to access your camera switch. Alright, now, let's get started. Okay guys, so on your PS Vita, make sure you have Vita Show, like I said earlier. So you want to open it up, click on Start, and we and click on Start. And make sure your select button is USB. You can use FTP, but I like using USB because it's much easier. So yeah, I'm gonna use USB. So then click on select and you're gonna get a pop-up message saying, um, connect the system to a PC system using a USB cable. So I'll have my cable right here. Just gonna plug it in. All right, now it says you must be connected. Now the next step, I'm gonna do it on my, you have to do it on your PC. So I'll see you guys on my PC. All right guys, so once you connected your PS Vita to your PC, you wanna go in the link in the description below and I'll bring you to this GitHub page. So you wanna download uh, this um, file name UDCD underscore UVC dot SKPRX. You wanna download it, which I'll download it for you guys. And I'm pretty sure I already have it installed, my bad. So I'm gonna delete this one. So yeah, once you have it, make sure you drag it to the tie folder on your Vita. Now, some of you might not see this and that's because you have to go to view and make sure um, you check a hidden item. And also go to options, view, and make sure high protected operating system files is unchecked. So I'm gonna just check it and then uncheck it for you guys. And you'll get a warning to if you uncheck it and you're just gonna click on yes, apply, okay. And then now you can see the tie folder. And then you want to drag or copy that SKPRX file we just downloaded and paste it or just move it. And yeah, that's it for the PC site. Now we could go back to the Vita. Alright guys, so once we're back on the Vita, you might have a message still saying USB connected. Just click on the circle and just unplug it. So you want to find where you download that SKPRX file. You just downloaded it so some of you could be on url some of you could be uxo so i'm gonna check uxo and i'm gonna go to that tie folder we put it in and there it is skprx so in that like in the tie folder there should be a config text so you want to click on that and then you want to go to where it says kernel and then you want to enter the empty line and you want to put either so you want to put this command so it depends on where your um, skprx file is if your skprx file is in the url you want to put url colon slash colon tie slash udcd underscore uv uvc dot skprx if you if it's in your uxo fo uh, folder like how it's on mine you want to do uxo colon tie slash udcd underscore uvc dot skprx and then once you're doing you want to click on the little arrow and then you want to click on circle and you wanna, if you want to save your modifications click on yes so now we should go back to the pc and connect this to obs hey guys so uh something i really forgot to mention which i apologize is that once you click on x to save modification you want to go back to the home page by clicking circle and you want to click uh, you want to uh, connect your usb cable to your pc 
and then click on start and reboot which i forgot to show you guys because if you didn't it wouldn't work like it wouldn't show up on obs so i apologize for not showing you guys that i forgot i, I also ran into the same problem i was like why is it not working why is it not working and yeah that's why so then if you soft jailbreak it that means you have to run your tool again so i had to use h on course because i soft jailbreak it i didn't permanently jailbreak this so yeah so you want to click on the exit so yeah that's pretty much it i forgot to show you guys that i once again i apologize and yeah now let's go on the pc all right guys so i'm back on my pc so make sure you launch the launch obs so we'll choose any scene you want and on the switch top click on the plus video capture device i'm just gonna name this ps Vito. And yep, there it is. Um, I'm gonna click on OK. You can change this, but I'm just gonna keep it as normal. And if you wanna full screen this, um, you can do this, but there's like an easier way. You can just right click, transform, and fit the screen, and now it's full screen. And now you could, um, just to go up, make sure it works, I'm just gonna launch up Minecraft to see if it works or not. So yeah, here we are in the main menu screen. So first, it might look a little bit laggy on the on OBS, but I think it stops. Like right now, it looks pretty laggy, but I think it stops lagging. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Social links are in the description below. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the high.